Greetings YouTubers. Posted this video today. Wanted to take a few minutes of your viewing time to post up our, our details on this father and son project. My son Alex and I took a stock SMT-10 grave digger made by Axial and converted it into what you see in front of you now, which is essentially our interpretation of a Bigfoot tribute truck. Uh, really pleased with the results and just wanted to share with you kind of how we got to where we did. Uh, the body on this truck is a relatively easily acquired Bigfoot truck from Traxxas. It goes uh, for their Stampede line of monster trucks. And as you can see here, with a little bit of modification, it actually fits down on that SMT chassis really well. You can see we did some cutouts there in the back, particularly in the rear window and there in the bed area to clear the chassis. And then, of course, reposition some body posts. But the body itself sits on there real nice and looks pretty scale in its appearance. So also on the subject of scale, uh, we did go with bigger wheels and tires that we think proportionally fit the truck a little better. And those are Proline Destroyer tires on there. And they're mounted on J Con Jade Concepts uh, tribute wheels along with their blue glue-on bead locks. And we thought that finished the truck off real nicely. So as you can also see, this is no longer the mean green wrecking machine. We converted or changed the chassis over to black. And that's literally just a, a Saturday morning of your time, a lobster pot, and a little bit of black dye that you can purchase at Walmart. And we were able to, to, to dye the body, the entire chassis in that black, which long term will make us uh, make it more compatible for other truck bodies if we ever decide to do something different. And in the meantime, it makes for a heck of a training truck if you're just out bashing on it, you don't want to destroy your really, really nice body that you just cut up and put on there. You can go to uh, to your outdoor arena or whatever and just drive it as a training truck and it looks fantastic. So this truck is not just a, a trailer queen though or a, a garage queen. Uh, we did build this truck to perform. Uh, and, and to that end, we put in a 3,000 kilovolt four-pole brushless motor in this truck, along with a Castle Creation Sidewinder 3 ESC, and we converted the transmission over to an all-metal gear transmission to make sure it could handle all that power. And, and as noted, with brushless, we do run 3S batteries in this truck. It works fantastic. It's not an overwhelming speed truck, and that's really not what it was designed for anyway, but uh, a real nice scale-looking truck no, no matter where you take it, wherever you drive it, it, it performs very much in a scale manner. Uh, a few other small upgrades we did, of course, on the front here. We, we swapped out the, the front steering linkages for your standard aluminum ones. Just a little bit lighter and a little bit stronger than what was on the truck originally. And, uh, and finally on this truck, this is a rear steer truck. And I'm not too sure how many guys out there have actually done this. But this truck actually is really compatible with swapping over to rear steer. And when you put that on there, it works fantastic. It's real simple. You just take a, a front axle off of one of these trucks and you can get them on eBay or uh, maybe directly from Axial or your local hobby shop. But, but buy you a front AR60 axle and, and flip it over. And uh, you'd be amazed at how well it actually lines up and sets up as a rear steer axle. Uh, in this case, we wired it directly to, uh, to, the, to the radio system. It works on a three position switch on that standard stock tactic radio and it's just three buttons it's just uh, one button for left another button for center another button for right and yeah this truck will now turn on a dime it turns very scale looks just like a real monster truck backing in somewhere making a turn it, it'll do donuts like nobody's business uh, you kick the rear steer in and, and hit the throttle and it'll just sit there and cyclone itself until it flips over just like the big boys um, a fantastic addition. I highly recommend it. It's not that much more work, just a little bit of cost involved in, in acquiring that other, that other front axle, but well worth the effort to do that. So, uh, so folks, I hope everyone enjoyed this. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any, any, any questions uh, or concerns about what we did here, but you know, we're just, we're just a couple of hobbyists who just did this as a father-son project, but we really enjoyed it. We're really proud of it. Wanted to wanted to just kind of brag a little bit on YouTube about what we did. So uh, feel free to ask any questions and uh, and thanks for watching.